In this lesson, we are going to be covering the difference between the TypeScript null and undefined values. So just like the JavaScript language, TypeScript has two different values that mean that no value has been assigned to a variable. Let's talk about the differences between both and learn when to use each and why. So in order to make things simpler, now that we got the primitive types out of the way, let's create here a new file in our fundamentals folder and let's use it to talk about null and undefined. So let's start by undefined. We are going to be creating here a new variable that I'm going to call title and I'm going to make this a string. But I am not going to assign it any value just yet. Notice that if this would be a const, this scenario would not even be possible because with consts we really need to assign an initial value to them. But with mutable variables, that is not the case. So now the question is, at this point in the program, what is the exact value of this title variable? Let's find out. We are going to log out here to the console the value of the variable. So let's say the title equals and let's simply concatenate here the title for simplicity. We're going to switch over to the terminal and let's start again the TypeScript compiler in watch mode and let's target file number three. We're going to compile this and in a separate tab, let's go ahead and let's run this in node. So the output is going to be the JavaScript file as usual. And if we run it, we are going to see that the value of the title variable is currently undefined. So what does this mean? What is this undefined value? Undefined is a special value of the JavaScript runtime. That means that the variable has not yet been initialized. So this is mostly accidental. It's unintentional. The variable has been declared somewhere in the program but no value has been assigned to it at all yet. This absence of a value here in the title variable is completely unintentional. Some variables of our program are optional, that is true, and we know that in certain cases, certain variables in our program might not have any value assigned to them, and that is intentional, we know that. But here, this is not the case. What is going on here is that we have declared a variable, it's just that we forgot to initialize it, for example, or we got a value that was passed on to us that was accidentally not defined. And so we ended up getting this undefined value here in our title variable. Notice that this value undefined is falsy. So if we add here an if statement and we negate here the title variable, we're going to be able to print out here to the console something like, for example, the value of title is not known yet. Let's go ahead and let's run this program. So if we run this again, we're going to see that indeed this statement got printed out to the console. So this proves that the undefined value at runtime is falsy. It's going to be evaluated to false in an if condition, for example, or anywhere else where we would try to use the undefined value as a Boolean. So this is how undefined works. It's a value defined by default by the JavaScript runtime that gets assigned to any variable that does not have an initial value yet. Now let's compare this with a different case. Let's imagine that our title variable here in our program is an optional variable. So sometimes it has a value, but sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't always have to have a value. So this is a string, but it can also be sometimes null. So we can assign this to this title variable and the value is going to be initialized with null instead of undefined. Let's have a look at this program in action. So we're going to open a terminal. Let's run the program again. And as we can see this time around, the value of the title variable is null instead of undefined as expected. And we can also see that the null value is also falsy, just like the undefined value. So what is the difference? The difference here is that we explicitly know that the title variable is optional and that it does not have a value assigned to it yet. So somewhere in our program, there was a code instruction 
that assigned a null value to the variable. This did not happen implicitly. This was not done by the JavaScript runtime. Somewhere in our program, we have explicitly and intentionally set this optional variable to null. So we know in the program that indeed the value is null. It's not yet filled in, it's absent. So if you have an optional variable in your program that sometimes might not be filled in, if you happen to know that that value is absent, go ahead and assign it null in your program. This is what is done in most programming languages. Actually, most programming languages, unlike JavaScript, don't make this subtle distinction between null and undefined. For example, in Java, there is only null for everything. If, for example, in Java, we define a variable, but we don't assign it a value, it's going to be automatically null. It's going to be filled in by the runtime as null and not undefined. Only in the JavaScript language, by historical reasons, has this difference between null and undefined been introduced into the language. In general, this subtle difference between the undefined and null values is not useful. It's only confusing for the programmer. There is really no practical uses for the distinction between these two values. The TypeScript language only supports the undefined value for backward compatibility purposes with the JavaScript language. Now, as a developer, how do you avoid getting confused between null and undefined? Let's highlight a couple of simple principles that you can apply to any program. So, first of all, if you have an optional variable in your program and you want to communicate to the program that you know that this variable does not have a value, you know for sure that the value is absent, then you should always use null. So simply assign null to it, just like in any other language. This is going to be more intuitive for you and for other people reading the program. Now, you could also initialize the variable with undefined explicitly but I think that this is more confusing than anything else. So if you are sure in our program that the variable does not have a value, I recommend assigning it the null value instead. In general, in your program, if you want to test that the variable is present or not, you can simply use here a true fit test using, for example, an if expression, and that is going to give you the exact results that you want independently if the variable is null or undefined. To summarize, if you want to keep things really simple and avoid all the confusion regarding null or undefined, simply use null in your programs whenever you want to indicate that a variable like title has no value. I think that the use of null is more familiar to a larger number of developers, more intuitive, and it's going to make your programs easier to read and reason about. So, in summary, long story short, always use null in your JavaScript programs and don't use undefined explicitly anywhere.